Hey there, everybody. So uh, I'm gonna show you real quick what we're doing in our continuing, I don't know, call it family science experiment of gardening. So we're gonna do a little experimentation here. We're gonna try and grow some lettuce. We get this from a dollar store. So pretty good deal if it grows. Um, but we're gonna try and grow some lettuce using the crackety method, which basically is where you take a, ma a mason jar or large container. Uh, I mean, you can use like a 55 gallon drum, like sky's the limit, right? But for our experiment, we're just gonna use some mason jars because I had some on hand. And I've got two different baskets here. So this is one that I 3D printed. Um, so wherever the design came from on Thingiverse, thank you. And then this is a basket that came with our rock wool. And so basically what we've done is mixed up a, a uh, solution of plant nutrient, food, and water, pretty, easy stuff. It gives you instructions on how much to dilute in a used gallon milk jug that we finished off. And yeah, mixed it up, filled up these mason jars with it until the water was touching the bottom of the rock wool in the basket. You can kind of, kind of see it in there touching it. And then I put some old, old socks around the mason jar. I saw that on, thought that was a pretty, pretty good idea. Um, anyway, the rock wool has a little hole in the top. Put a couple seeds in there. I'm actually gonna finish massaging this one closed a little bit, just to keep that, oh, I opened it back up. Seal it up there, and this one I've already done that on. And basically the idea behind this is you don't prevent a lot of sunlight into the jar, into the nutrient solution and water mixture. So then that is going to prevent algae growth while the sun, in, you know, gets the seeds to grow. So seeds grow up toward the sun, roots grow down, and then they drink up all the water and get fed by the nutrient solution. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. And the experiment is, I guess, one to see if we can do it and not screw this up. Seems like it's pretty simple and foolproof, but you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Uh, and two, we're gonna see if either of these baskets makes any, any kind of difference, the 3D printed one or the one that came with it. All right, thanks for checking it out.